released yesterday a uh, firmware update for the A7R Mark IV. Um, it's not, unfortunately, it's not got the any updates about the 200 to 600 uh, millimeter lens, the uh, compatibility problem, the autofocus and stuff, but it may may help. You never know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download it now and um, go from there, really. So um, basically, you've just got to find your camera. So I went to sony.co.uk, went to support, and then looked at the cameras and stuff, and you can basically just type it in. So there it is there. Um, so we've got the new version 1.20. There we go. Autofocus benefit performance recording movies um, on the 12 to 24. Improves overall stability of the camera. So even though I haven't mentioned it, that lens, it may be an improvement. We don't know yet. So we shall see. We shall see. So let's download it. Anyway. What it thinks about it. There we go. Read all the gumph, download. While you're doing that, basically you need to plug in your camera, um, fully charged, to USB. Make sure the uh, USB side of things is mass storage. And uh, we shall see. So, 18 seconds left. Um, I haven't tried the 1224 um, lens yet, the Sony one, but uh, it's something I might quite like to try. You probably would never buy one because it is quite a lot of money for something that I've got a prime lens anyway. So, I've got the 14mm Samyang, which is a very, very good lens anyway. So, that works quite well. So, anyway, I've turned on the camera, which is now gone to USB mode and it's uh, mass storage USB. There we go, it's even showing up on the right hand side here. Uh, so that's good. And then let's open it. And then it's basically just going to unzip everything. And it's basically automated. So basically, now turn on the camera, which I've done, connect, click next. Now it's basically going to look for the firmware and everything. Connect to the camera. There you go, checking the version. And at the moment we're at 1.1, and now we're going to version 1.2. Now it's going to basically uh, do the update. It's as simple as that, it's very, very easy. Um, you've just got to make sure your battery is charged up. So it's got plenty of power in the uh, battery. I think I'm at 90%, so that's plenty. Um, and then basically it's just going to install it. So you'll see the um, green bar start appearing in a minute. There we go, running the update. And once it's done, it's done. So I will try the 200 to 600 to see if there's any better um, autofocus into it. It may have, may have improved it slightly, we don't know. Um, they haven't mentioned it in the firmware update, so obviously it's not a particular firmware that firmware update for that lens as such. Um, but they do know about it. I've hassled them enough. Loads of people have commented on my videos that I've done about the problem. Sony are aware of this problem. Um, they've been monitoring my uh, video and the comments to see how many other people have said, yeah, we've got the same sort of situation, same problem, blah, blah, blah. So hopefully that's enough to spur a um, firmware update in the future if need be um, but uh, it's one of those things but I've been getting actually quite good photos with it not necessarily flying birds or anything like that but um, at the zoo things like that absolutely fine I also focus locking on nice and sharp no issues whatsoever um, even with um, horses running around and stuff like that, it's uh, been locking onto them. I think it's the smaller, faster moving um, animals like birds in flight uh, that are the issue. It basically just isn't accurate enough at high speed. And I think that's either a firmware update or it's just, they reckon it's possibly to do with how many megapixels it has. You know, way too many, and it, it just something to do with it. I don't know. Um, you can get motion blur. Um, 
by having too much movement from that camera. So, um, you know, because it's so sensitive due to the the, the actual resolution, it's uh, it is a uh, it can be an issue. I mean, you just got to make sure your shutter speed is really really fast, basically, for make sure things are really frozen. But you can't really get away with as much as you could with a lower megapixel camera. Um, so, but uh, you know, we shall see. Um, Gonna basically try it out and see uh, see what's what. Uh, be another day because it's uh, half past seven in the evening now. So I'll have to get up one day and just uh, take it out, try it out, and see see what's what. So about sixty percent done. So yeah, hopefully this is uh, sorted out a few little issues. If there is any. First, the camera itself works brilliantly. I've never had any. Any bad problems apart from the 200 to 600. Um, all the other lenses I own work very well. Um, no real drama in the autofocus side of things at all. Um, so yeah, it's working absolutely fine. So almost done. It's basically a case of plug it in. Make sure you've got mass storage uh, USB in your uh, in the menus, make sure it's set to USB mass storage, not PC connection or um, any of the other ones there. Um, and then you can obviously do updates and everything via it. But uh, it's a, as simple as that, basically plugging it in, run the, run the uh, software like we have here. It's however long, and it's taken um, about seven minutes. There we go, seven minutes now, and it's done. So it's not a huge amount of time. And that's from download, pushing the download button slightly before to having it installed. So not too bad at all, really. Here we go. So that is pretty much done. Now the camera should turn off. There we go. Fire up again. There we go. Back into USB mode. So that's finished. So we just click finish. It's uh up on the computer, but yeah, that's it, guys. It's simple as simple as that. So I'm gonna go now try it a little bit, see if there's any differences, see if there's any, uh, you know, see if it seems to be quicker or anything like that. So we shall try that um, with the uh, 135 G Master, and I might even stick on the uh, 200 to 600. But I shall let you know about that. And see if it's any uh, different in uh, speediness or accuracy, and that'd be good. So don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well, and there'll be some new videos coming soon.